We are less than 90 days until Election Day, and both candidates made their case to voters today. Vice President Harris, Governor Walz campaigning with labor union workers in Michigan, while former President Trump, who's been off the campaign trail, did have a news conference at Mar-a-Lago. And we are learning tonight the two candidates have agreed now finally to debate. The face-off will happen September 10th on ABC. KTLA Samantha Corteza here in studio with the latest. Sam? Mike and Sandra knew tonight the Hill compiled 109 polls and the gap has closed between former President Trump and Vice President Harris. It's a statistical dead heat, Trump ahead by 0.2 percent. And now America has 89 days left to decide. There's certainly never been anybody so liberal like these two or even close. Former President Trump held an hour long news conference at his home in Mar-a-Lago, taking questions about everything from inflation to gun rights and foreign policy. They want to see a country that's respected. Think of it. If I were president, you wouldn't have Russia and Ukraine where it never happened. Zero chance. You wouldn't have had October 7th of Israel. In Michigan, Vice President Harris was interrupted by anti-Israel protesters. You know what? If you want Donald Trump to win, then say that. Otherwise, I'm speaking. She and running mate Governor Walls campaigned with UAW labor union workers. Collective bargaining is about saying, let the collective come together around a common experience, which at its core is about dignity and the dignity of labor. He doesn't know you. He doesn't care about your family. And his running mate is just as dangerous and backward as he is. Former President Trump said he won't shift his strategy despite a shift in the polls, calling this a honeymoon phase for Democrats. I haven't recalibrated strategy at all. Uh, it's the same policies, uh, open borders, weak on crime. She destroyed San Francisco. She destroyed California. As the AG. When asked about a peaceful transfer of power come January, Mr. Trump made this comparison. If you look at Martin Luther King when he uh, did his speech, his great speech, and you look at ours, same real estate, same everything, same number of people. If not, we had more. Now it's official. There will be at least one presidential debate on Tuesday, September 10th. I look forward to the debates because I think we have to set the record straight. I'm glad that he's finally agreed to a debate on September 10th. I'm looking forward to it and um, hope he shows up. President Trump said he would show up to three debates on Fox News and CBS News. The Harris campaign agreed to that one on September 10th on ABC. Harris Walls campaigning in Arizona tomorrow. Trump sans fans will be in Montana. In the studio, Samantha Cortese, KTLA 5 News.